Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Non-Ownership, Ownership. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new show. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode uh, of our show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Many people don't realize this yet, but they are going to change the definition of ownership. Ownership used to mean that if you paid for something, you owned it. You could do whatever you wanted with it. You could fix it. You could change it. You could redesign it. You could sell it. You could sell it to someone for whatever price you wanted to sell it for. Why? Because you owned it. All of that is changing now. Now they want to continue to control things they sell you after you buy them. They want to limit what you can do with something you thought you owned. This process started with the purchase uh, and sale of land and homes many decades ago. They started implementing zoning rules and HOA rules on physical property like land and homes, and that's when it all began. Those rules controlled what you could and could not do with the home and land you owned or you thought you owned. At the time, most people accepted those rules because they always had the option of not purchasing that particular home or land. Now those rules have been expanded to include other products or things you may purchase. If you want to purchase your car, uh, then they're trying to limit your ability to fix your car on your own without the assistance of a mechanic or without the need to go to an auto dealership service center. They want the dealers to fix things that you previously were able to repair on your own. This is their way of ensuring that they continue to make money off that car long after you purchased it and thought you owned it. It's also why new cars are breaking down more often than ever before. Next, we have software. It used to be that when you purchased a software program, you owned it in perpetuity. It was yours. You could use it forever. Now they want you to subscribe to that software so that you have to keep making payments on it every month for the rest of your life or every year for the rest of your life. You're basically just renting the software instead of buying it. Next, we have phones and computers. In the past, when you purchased a phone or a computer, you owned and you controlled it. That's not the case anymore. If you notice, when you purchase a phone or a computer these days, they're constantly updating it. Some TVs are being updated each day now after you purchase them. They're being updated over the internet. Same thing with phones and computers. In many cases, they are updating the operating systems of your phones and computers on a weekly basis, and you don't have any say in whether or not it gets updated. They're adding programs and apps that you may not even want or approve of. They're adding tracking and monitoring software to almost all of the apps now. Most of the apps on your phone now record everything they see and hear in your home, and then that information gets sent back to their servers. They do this for both advertising purposes and for all sorts of other purposes that most people aren't even aware of. Do you know that there are now a number of apps on your phone monitoring whether or not you drink, how much you drink, and when you drink. Ask yourself, how on earth does tracking that information on your phone and sending it to some distant server, uh, how does that benefit you and other consumers? The answer is, it doesn't really. Will it be used against you at some point in the future? Probably. That's the new marketplace reality they are trying to uh, advance and perpetuate. Just because you purchase something doesn't mean you own it or control it. That's the world they're moving us into. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.